Sister Brown said, you don't want to live with me. She said, yes, I do, Sister Brown. Sister Brown said, no, you don't want to live with me because you don't know my rules. That Sister Brown told her her rules. She said, yes, I can abide by them. So she came from California to live with me. And I, I am not as hard as Sister Brown. So anyhow, a boy come around. A church boy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, church boy. All right. And he took her out. All right. They went someplace. All right. And I got a daughter. All right. And it was getting near 12 o'clock. All right. And Sister Brown wasn't home. Now, how about you? And usually my daughter was going on the bed. All right. But no, she's going to stay up to see All right. what daddy going to do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> this girl stays out after 12. Right, she time. said, she said, now they told me I gotta be in for prayer. Right. There ain't gonna be no partiality. Right. No special treatment. All right. And I was getting nervous. Uh, <laughs> all right. Because I didn't want to say nothing to the girl. Uh-huh. But I knew I had somebody breathing down my neck. All right. <laughs> if I didn't do nothing, you were gonna tell mama. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ever been under pressure? All right. <laughs> Stood there and I passed the floor. I paced the floor like an old tiger. Amen. Mm-hmm. Got near the court at 12. I ain't seen no lights coming to the driveway. All right. Five minutes, uh, 10 minutes to 12. Mm-hmm. And just about three minutes to 12. All right, now. Here come this car speeding up my gravel road. All right, all right. Stopped all of a sudden. The girl didn't have a chance to say goodnight. She jumped out that car. And when she got inside where my porch was, and I shut the door, it was saying almost midnight. All right, all right. She just made it in, mother. All right. And I said, thank you, Jesus. All right, all right, all right, all right. Next day, she said, I told so-and-so that I got to be home all by 12. Right. Where they were, was so many miles out. Every speed limit all right. in the land to get her home all right. by 12 o'clock. All right. I'm glad. All right. <laughs> My head was on a chopping block. All right. All right. <laughs> yes, so that's why I said that. Amen. Right. 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 I guess right. we right. fellowship when you're out in church, you know, that's and take your time to get home. Yeah. But we, you know, we call ourselves a light of the world. That's right. right. And we don't be around here going like the world. We, right. we, ain't, we ain't in the bushes. No, sir. We, we ain't walking around in the dark. No, man. sir. Yeah, right. and, and then everything, everything <laughs> right. 
That don't you let me get spoiled on this man. Amen. Then, oh, I know he, he look, maybe he this up. Amen. And, and then, amen, glory to God, she taking all his shirts and she iron them and, and fold them and put them in his drawers. Yes, and and everything neat the way he wanted. it. Go with the good though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And she's going to pull that on me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told her when she married me, I'm not your Foster father. In other words, I never had somebody do that for me, and I feel like a little old man. I feel, you know what I mean? Like a, I don't know, somebody doing all that picking on me, cutting my toenails, shining my shoes, and testing my water, and tasting my food. It made me feel, I don't know, like I felt, mother, but maybe feel, I don't know what. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't get sufficient or something. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I told her, I said, now, Marjorie, I don't want you to put my shirts in the drawer. Uh-huh. I don't want, at first, because I didn't want to go to the laundry, because I don't, I don't like starch neck to really scratch my neck. Uh-huh. She did that all right, but, uh-huh. but she's going to put my shirts on them, fold them, put them in the drawer, uh-huh. neatly. I said, Marjorie, I don't want my shirts in the drawer. Yes. She ain't leaving no mind. <laughs> That's the way it off the yeah. That's what I did. That's what it pulled me down. I told her that. I said, Marjorie. <laughs> I don't want my shirts. Put them in the Amen. Now, when I said Marjorie, uh-huh. that's it. As long as I said Marjorie, so it's about chip in the mouth. When I said Marjorie, uh-huh. that's the bottom line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's it. All right. So she didn't pay me the mind when I said Marjorie, uh-huh. I don't want my shirts in the door. Yeah. You know what I did when I came home one uh-huh. evening? And found all my shirts still on neatly, socks in the drawer, ties in the drawer, white shirts all folded on and folded neatly. You know what I did? Yeah. Y'all want me surprised? No, I took that that that, that drawer, threw them all, and put the whole thing up on the floor, yeah. and all the white shirts fell on the floor. Yeah. Everything all out, you know. Yeah. She learned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she armed them, but she didn't want to hang them. We have an understanding that. Yeah. How y'all feel, church? Uh, Amen. So I won't get in that part. You know, husband, love your wife. And Christ loves the church. That's her expertise. Amen. Right. When she preached like that, all I can do is just push ahead a hole to crawl in. <laughs> amen. Amen. I, get, I don't know. I don't know. I just say, amen. She preached that so much. She preached that so much. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. But in this particular verse, the 27th verse. Alright. The 27th verse. That he might present it to himself. Now, that he might present the church to himself. A glorious church. A glorious church. Not having spot. But not having spot. Or wrinkle. Nor wrinkle. Or any such thing. Not having spot. All right. All right. Nor wrinkle. All right. Or any such thing. Such thing. But that they should be holy. But that the church should be what? Holy. Holy. And without blemish. And without blemish. All right. Amen. Read that just slowly again. That he might present it. That he might present it. To himself. To himself. A glorious church. A glorious church. Not having spot. No hypocrites. Or wrinkle. No hypocrites. All right. All right. Y'all ain't saying nothing. All right. Go ahead. No liars. All right. Come on. All right. Come on. All right. Go ahead. No backbiters. All right. All right. All right. Oh, praise God. I, I'm not even going to preach from that. I'm just quoting this. All right. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Not have a spot or wrinkle. Now, while you're holding that, get right. me back to 16th chapter of Matthew. Glory to God. And the, I believe the 18th verse, comparing these two scriptures together, we get a revelation. All right. And I say also 
unto thee. And I say also unto thee. That thou art Peter. That thou art Peter. And upon this rock. Now don't, church, don't get me mixed up. Mixed up. The church was not built on Peter. Right, sir. Right. Amen. No, sir. It's built on Jesus. All right. All right. Y'all yeah. follow me now? Yeah. All right. Because if it had been built on Peter, we'd have been in trouble. All right. But Peter denied Christ. All right. All right. Amen. So it was built on Peter. All right. right. But it built on the rock. All right. And that rock is Jesus. All right. All right. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And what did it say? That thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. And upon this rock. Upon this rock. I will build my church. I will build my church. And the gates of hell. And the gates of hell. Shall not overcome it or prevail over it or subdue it. Right. And don't bother me with revelation because right. I know what that's talking about. All right. okay. When Antichrist is going to overcome the same, I know what that's talking about. Hey, man, I ain't talking about that right That's another story. All right. All right. But I'm talking about right now. All right. All right. And it's my belief All right. and my conviction All right. and my persuasion right. according to the word of God. Pastor Carpenter, that this church, as you said, the spiritual church of Jesus Christ is still standing. That's right. Amen. I don't care how many hypocrites you have in the physical building, they are not in the church of Jesus Christ. Devils, uh -huh. they shall speak with new tongues. And they shall speak with what? New tongues. 
right. or some money. All right. Amen. Yes. But Spirit of John said, look on us. Look on us. Silver and gold we have not. But such as we have given that unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ yeah. of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear me there. Yeah. Where, brother, where was the piano? Where was the piano? Wasn't that? Where was the guitar? It wasn't that. Where was the organ? It wasn't that. Where was the timbre? It wasn't that. Where was the saxophone? It wasn't that. Come on now. But the music, the music was down inside of him. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I'm not that name. Yeah. 
You don't have it again. He said, yes, I do. Uh -huh. I said, you don't have it. Uh -huh. He said, yes, I do. Uh -huh. I said, you don't have it. Uh -huh. He said, yes. He stopped the thing. All right. He said, yes. I said, you don't have it. Uh -huh. He didn't answer no more. And you mean me to tell me right, yeah. by me saying you don't have it uh -huh. can make you believe you don't have it? All right. All right. Come on. The devil is bold. Uh -huh. He'll Come walk on. up to you That's and right. tell you something right. you Come don't on. have it. Come on. Right. Oh, y'all don't hear me now. Right. And if you are not strong, he'll make you believe you don't have nothing. He'll take your joy. Yeah. All right. All right. He'll tell you, you ain't saved. All right. All right. All right. Lord, All right. you give me a $5 bill. All right now. And ask me, do All I have a five? I don't have no $5 bill. All right. You know what I'm going to do? All right. That is. All right. All right. I got it. All right now. I got it. All right. I know I got it. All right. You know what I have Holy Ghost? All right now. Holy Ghost will speak for us. But you know, I got it.
got this thing called the test tube, babies. Uh-huh. Right. Right. Y'all don't hear me? You go ahead, Come on. Yeah. Look what we have done, uh-huh. Sai said. Uh-huh. We have created uh-huh. life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everybody looks around. Oh, they're getting uh-huh. smart. Uh-huh. They created life. Uh-huh. They are lying. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. They are lying. That's right. All, right. All, right. All, right. All they've taken is a seed. All right. Come on. That's right. And an egg. All right, you know what I'm talking about? Right. Life yeah. and created yeah. an atmosphere That's right. for that to grow. That's All right. right. And come a baby. All right. Uh-huh. Come yeah. on in. But they ain't created no life. That's right. right. Yeah. What did God do? All right now. God. Look down. What you uh-huh. say? Took man uh-huh. uh, from the dust of the earth. Of the earth. Yes, right. Oh, y'all don't give me that. All right. Right.
psychotechnology, big word in it. Psychotechnology. Such as visualism. Visualism. Teaching that in school. Visualize. Somebody in your mind. And when that person comes to your mind, that's your spirit guy. And you visualize it long enough, he'll become real to you. And then you listen to him. He'll tell you what to do. That ain't nothing but demonic worship.
took his rod. Yes, he did. And threw it down. That's right. right. That's right. And it turned so what? to a serpent. All right, now. All right. What did the other ones do? Threw down their rod. And wait a minute. All right. They didn't know. All right. There's no way in the Bible. All right. Moses said, wait a minute. You magicians, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to test. All right. I'm going to come that night, Tuesday night, uh-huh. and I'm going to throw my rod down. Uh-huh. Now, this is Sunday. Uh-huh. But he was told me what they're going to do Tuesday. No, no, I'm going to come Tuesday night, and I'm going to bring my rod, uh-huh. and I'm going to throw it down. It's going to become a serpent. No, no, but they do that. Because that would give them a chance uh-huh. to make a trip to do the same thing. That's uh-huh. right. But he came. What is it? They didn't know what he was going to do. That's right. And he threw his rod down, and it became, and it became a, serpent. a serpent. And what did they do? They rod down. They threw their rod down, and it, and it became a serpent. Yes. Where they get their power from? That's the devil. Thank you. Come on. Right. The power of Satan. Don't, don't like me today. Go ahead. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Didn't God tell the children of Israel right don't have no dealing with people with familiar spirits? Right. 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 Then they tell them those witches right. who says, right. come on now, don't right. have no dealing with those people. Right. Didn't the witch of Ender wasn't in her profession to conjure up spirits? Right. She got shot when the lockers came up there. Right. 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 She got shot. Right. She jumped back. She wouldn't expect him to come. All right. yeah. He came. That wasn't her familiar spirit. That's right. right. God allowed Sam to come out. Right. 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 Come on, That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't like me. Sister Brown was in a certain town, and I wasn't with her. And this lady was out there who was a one of the um, fortune tellers. And she was asking everybody, come on in. Come on in. You need to come in. I'm going to tell you the fortune. I'm going to talk you too much. And as soon as Sister Brown comes back, she said, you go in. I ain't going to do with you. All right. That's right. Why? All right. Because the Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Angels are camped around about the Yes. Right. And then the scripture said, Greater yes. is he that's in you yes. than yes. he that's in the world. Yes. Come on now. Yes. If you are in the will of God and have the power of the Holy Ghost, greater right. is the power of the Holy Ghost right. than the devil in the world. Right. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen.
I know y'all don't like, but I'm going home. I know y'all don't like, but I'm going home. Preach. Come on, church. Come on, church. Preach. Yo, I wish y'all said something to me. We don't believe. Well, some don't. I'm not going to knock if you do. But some don't believe. And if Jesus ain't no Santa Claus, don't get mad with me now. Hear me out before you judge me. Ain't no man in red red suit will come down his chimney. Amen. We don't believe in no Santa Claus. But yet we'll take our children, charter a bus, and go all the way to Disney World. All right. And see a mouse walking around there. Talking. All right. All right. Who ever heard of a talking mouse? Kangaroo walking around there. Talk. Goofy. Talking. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Donald Duck. Talking. Like you don't believe in Santa Claus. Why are you going to take them and believe in something that don't exist? All right. All right. All right. Leave one loud one. Amen. Amen. The young lovers, church right. lovers. Right. Young right. church lovers. Right. I ain't talking with y'all too now. I'm going to leave y'all alone for a while. Let's go in the tunnel of love. All right. All right. That's scripture. And they don't want to go where things lit up, brother. Where there's lights. The tunnel of love is dark. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's not the saints. And when the girl comes out of the tunnel of love, her hair is all over her head. All right, all right. Woo! All right. Are y'all listening? All right. You're preaching right. right. Then the Bible says God calls us out of darkness right. Right. into light. Right. And what you doing? Leave the light going into darkness. All right now. All right. All right. All right. All right. You're counted right. Come on. Amen. All right. All right. I see. Remember, come down. I'm talking. I know it's so quiet for me. All right. Don't let me talk to me. You're preaching right. Yeah. And then they get on the road.
sons of God. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come out of the world. Yes, Lord. No, no, no. Hallelujah. How y'all feel tonight? How y'all feel tonight? We won't be condemned with the world. Why? Because God so loved the world that he would. That whosoever should not but have for God into the world do what? Why? Because the world is already condemned. But the world through him might be saved. You got a chance to come out the world, something that's condemned, and be delivered and be saved. But you're staying there in a condemned situation, a condemned world. You're going to full gospel right. and you leave hell out. Okay. 
I'm going to close. I got about 15 more scriptures to go to. I can't go to that time in the way. I'm going to close. Oh, y'all going to hear me now. Hallelujah. Y'all don't feel like I feel. Maybe you don't. I feel pretty good. I'm scared to run to all these pews because they ain't buckled down in my fault. Amen. But I feel like I'm leaving over five pews right now. Y'all don't hear me. 